Central bankers are meeting here in Helsinki to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Finnish Central Bank. I'm with the president of a more fledgling central bank, the European Central Bank, Jean-Claude Trichet. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I want to just talk one about yesterday's decision to keep rates on hold. You described interest rates as being low. Actually, their real rates are negative at the moment. How much of a concern is it to you that, that negative rates will remain and give the wrong incentives to market participants and perhaps make them uh, make uh, investments which are uh, too risky? As you know, we have, uh, of course, uh, uh, primary goal, which is to deliver price stability in the medium run and uh, be credible in this delivery of price stability. It is what we have been doing over the last uh, 12 years, less than two, 1.97% as an average yearly inflation. And uh, we will continue to do that. So we always take our decision to deliver price stability, taking all into account all the elements that we have, all the parameters. We increased rates, as you might remember, last month. And uh, this, uh, this month, we maintain rates at the present level, remaining extremely alert monitoring very closely all what has happened, what, what will happen. And uh, we will have, of course, a new rendezvous with our new projections uh, next month. Well, you left rates, as you said, on hold uh, yesterday, indicated that you won't increase again next month when the projections come out. Are you concerned, or is the reason for that because you're concerned about establishing a pattern of rate increases? Again, we, as you know, we are never pre-committed and we always do what is necessary in the judgment of the governing council. We are living in a world which is uh, uh, very demanding and uh, where we might have new information, uh, new data, uh, uh, new uh, events uh, that would come. So we have to remain, again, faithful to our mandate. Everybody knows that we are taking the decisions that are necessary to deliver price stability. This is not word. These are deeds because we can prove it. And you know, we are a very simple and transparent central bank. We said at the very beginning of the euro, price stability is less than two, close to two. 12 years afterwards, we were at less than two, close to two. Words at the beginning, deeds all along this period of 12 years. And it is what we continue to do. Mr. Trichet, yesterday you also expressed concern that uh, inflation risks are on the upside. We saw a sizable drop in the oil price overnight. What would it take for your concerns about inflation risks on the upside to be alleviated? Well, again, I uh, never myself comment on uh, market's evolution on an hour to hour or uh, 24 hours basis. We have to have a sense of what's going on in a, a little bit more with a little bit more time of course of course what all what goes in the direction of a lower price of oil and commodity is good to take from the inflation standpoint because it diminishes of course the risk of the second round effects that are our main concern and uh, it also is important because it is better for the consolidation of the recovery in particular in the advanced economy so that, that's good to take. But again, I don't comment on evolution uh, overnight. In Washington, you talked about how the um, self-sustained recovery in the Eurozone is increasing. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, do you still stand by it and do you still uh, consider it will, will, will it evolve in Europe? Uh, we, uh, again, have to remain uh, very prudent. Uh, this is no time for complacency. That being said, it's true that since the start of the recovery, which, was, uh, uh, which came uh, in the third quarter of uh, 2009, we have seen quarter after quarter, uh, I would say projections which were slightly better than the projection we had before. So this is the confirmation that we have an ongoing recovery that uh, is uh, something that uh, is, of course, uh, a positive in the present circumstances. I am uh, convinced that the first quarter uh, of, uh, for the euro area of the real economy will uh, continue to confirm that recovery is there. But again, no complacency. It depends very much on us. I mean, I mean the European uh, 
Uh, if we continue to engage in the structural reforms that are overdue, we will elevate our growth potential and we will have more growth and more job creation. And we're seeing some more signs that consumer is actually taking part in this recovery. That depends uh, on a country to country basis. Uh, but uh, again, it's, uh, it's a recovery which we observe now on, uh, I would say, practically all components. And just finally, we're in Helsinki, the anti-Euro party, the True Finns have gained a lot of votes. What's your message to the supporters of parties like the True Finns who are arguing against stronger countries actually helping some of their peers in need? I would say the reasons the European have had to unite, and you know that it is an endeavour, a formidable, a very inspiring endeavour which started after World War II, all the reasons which existed at the time in terms of creating a single market, a single market with a single currency, paving the way for growth, prosperity, job creation, all this is there even more now. Because at the time we were only looking at the US. It was the only, I would say, big single market that was the model for the European. Now we have the US, we have China, we have India, we have all the emerging world which is uh, you know, creating uh, new entities that are extremely active, prosperous, and uh, we have to be up to these challenges. The global challenges are there. The unity of the European is more important than ever. That's absolutely clear. Mr. Jean-Claude Trichet, thank you very much. I'm David Tweed in Helsinki for Bloomberg.